In this video I show you assembly of a quite famous movement, it is NH35 or to be more exact it is Seiko NH35. So welcome on Thinking Watch and let's begin. The movement Seiko NH35 features hand winding, hacking, it has 21600 bits per hour and it's quite famous along homage watches and also micro browns. So such browns like uh, Zilos, Spinnaker, Baltic have this movement, not all of course, but some of them. And all homage watches like Pagani Design, Cadizan, San Martin also, but they lately started with different movements like PT5000. Of course they are much more expensive. So this movement is quite popular, uh, you buy it for about yeah, 50, 60 dollars so they are not very expensive and therefore servicing it is rather unprofitable. Now we can see another feature of NH35, it has on the wheel bridge two capstones on a escape wheel and also on the third wheel which is rather a little bit uncommon along affordable movements here unfortunately and please apologize that we are not in focus but just to show you the idea how i'm installing the spring that holds the capstones i'm using here two pairs of tweezers so you can see the idea also later when i will installing the balance stone and also the shock protection spring on the balance it will show this more exact so stay tuned Okay, now the quite interesting winding mechanism of Seiko that is quite famous and every Seiko fan know this. It's quite unique, very simple, not too many parts and very, very effective. Let's do this. About oiling of this movement in the description down below I left you a link to the manual of NH35 because you can find it in internet all the parts how the movement is exactly built so you don't have to remember everything you can also use Google to find the manual of NH35 so they are quite popular. Okay, what's left here is just to secure this axis from this wheel. When I was disassembling this movement, because I bought it on AliExpress and also if you would like to buy one, I leave you a link in the description down below. When I was disassembling this movement, I noticed that it was old and in fact, I didn't have to make here any disassembly service and oiling it from the beginning. Anyway, I decided to disassemble it just because I was curious and I don't know how old is the movement, how long it is lying in a warehouse. And I would like to wear the watch for a pretty pretty long time. Of course, this movement will be used to make a watch, it will be a pilot watch. so. Please follow my channel and uh, subscribe, click the bell notification because very very soon I will upload a video about making a pilot watch, another pilot watch because I already made two others. So okay, here I was using Rodico as a support to install all the winding pinion clutch and so on. Uh, okay, here I have to also adjust the yoke. And so works the keyless work by Seiko NH35. As you saw, I didn't disassemble all the levers of keyless work because it's in fact not really, not really needed. The only thing that you have to remember on the end is just to oil with grease the right places. And for the right places, you will find in the manual 
that you can download from the link in the description down below or just search in the internet. I'm pretty sure you will find it. Okay, let's move on with the wheels. Here I can see some saving costs because the third wheel don't have these gaps like the second wheel. Yeah, they also trying to save costs. Okay, escape wheel. Also very simple construction here. Only three wheels with a center wheel plus center wheel. That's it. It is made since 200 years or even longer. Okay, now the click spring. And now the main bridge. We have only here one bridge that covers not only the wheels but also the barrel and also part of the winding mechanism. Actually one, <laughs> one pinion. Okay, it seems that the wheels aren't gauge. I can secure the bridge with the screws. Ratchet wheel, of course the screw of the ratchet wheel, oh, here this lever, I have to also tighten this screw. And very quick cleaning. This cleaning I will repeat many times during the assembly. Normally I do this and I think you also should be aware of that. Okay, now the Dale side. So Let's move on and stay with me. I have a model of NH35 with only with the days of the month. So we have only here a date dial. But very popular are models with double date. Also nothing new and the only difference with Seiko and other movements for example Swiss movements or Russian movements is only in the winding mechanism that's all a little bit also here with the wheels start changing the date with the quick date set feature and the whole mechanism is also a little bit different. ETA movements have this solution, I think, simpler. Yeah, they, they invented something much easier to produce and to maintain. Plastic, quite a lot of plastic wheels here. We have three. Here is some securing bridge.
okay, it seems it works like it should. We can go on. So here we have the first covering plate. And in this plate is in the same incorporated the spring for the date wheel. For the date, actually date tile. Here we have the date tile. position okay I think so is okay I have here I have here a little bit oil on the date wheel I will clean it later with a rodico okay oh, here exactly between the six and five there's a little bit oil I will clean it that's quite simple with the rodico okay this covering plate is secured. Let's check the function of changing the date. So quick date set feature works perfect. No complaint about that. Yep. And now the changing the date. Okay. Works also. So my friends, what's left is the pellet fork. That is already installed, so I installed it off camera. In my other videos you can also see how I'm doing this, but here I will spend a little bit more time with the balance wheel. And let's finish finally our work, not too many things left. Here we have to be very delicate because the balance stuff is pretty thin thing and if if we break it then you have to buy a new one no chance okay also I have to adjust the ruler jewel with the pellet fork okay this works here the last wheel from the winding mechanism only need to adjust these two levers and the last bridge and then when I will install the balance jewel uh, with the balance spring we actually finish okay let's secure the bridge with these two screws that's simple and actually to showing you how I'm putting back the rotor it's pointless because it's quite easy let's do now the balance jewel that is more interesting but here also oiling and also this wheel so now the balance jewel with its spring Okay, we are slowly coming to the end so I will have to say goodbye unfortunately for this video but don't worry I will make another one where I will be using this movement so be sure that you subscribe that you click bell notification and if you like this video click the thumb up and if you didn't click the thumb down but then tell me why you didn't like it so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye bye. Mm. Here it is all. I will have to clean it also with Prodigal.